Hi everyone, in this quick screencast we'll take a look at how we can use a uh, graph visualization tool like Gephi to understand group dynamics and really uh, slice and dice if you will uh, into a graph and quickly find communities and key influences. Now the data that I have here is uh, an extract from a social media data set uh, and uh, the way I've done that is um, I've um, exported that into a CSV and imported uh, into Gephi. Uh, so you can import a spreadsheet or a CSV file here and uh, you will have to have a separate CSV for nodes and a separate CSV for edges. And once you've imported it, uh, basically you get this default view. It's a, it's a hairball of uh, lots and lots of interactions. Uh, so the nodes and the edges uh, reflecting the interaction. Uh, again, keep in mind that the data set that I have here, um, uh, there's uh, weightage being applied in terms of the interactions uh, between individuals, so that's already been pre-computed outside of uh, Gephi. All right, so uh, to get started, so first off, um, it's, it's, it's a good idea to visually highlight uh, the nodes um, based on um, the interactions and again let's uh, let's improve the visualization so first off of the nodes itself uh, I want to make sure that I've uh, highlighted uh, nodes which have uh, higher uh, degrees of uh, interaction um, so let's say um, the larger nodes or the ones with more interaction I'll give them a value of uh, 20 uh, and already you can start to see um, very visually how um, the nodes, um, you know, the larger nodes with more degrees, uh, how they can visually be separated. Uh, and there's a lot more that we can do. So um, the next thing I want to do is uh, I like to um, segment it or partition these nodes uh, based on community. So th there is a way uh, or there are several ways, but um, I guess um, for now I'm going to use um, the modularity al algorithm to uh, segment the network. And uh, you can use it with weights, but right now I'm using it without weights. And uh, the data that I have here is um, uh, semi-generated uh, uh, based on a few heuristics. So um, you will have to use the different resolutions. And by increasing the resolution, you get different groups. So if I run it with the defaults, uh, you can see that it's actually detected 201 communities. So uh, that's too many communities, but um, I'm just going ahead with the defaults. Uh, you can see how it's uh, kind of uh, use the algorithm to find different communities and uh, many of the communities um, you know the, uh, they're not segmented all too well based on my parameter but let's just use it as is um, and now that we have applied the modularity um, we can use that uh, to partition um, uh, this node uh, and you will have to click on refresh here and um, now because I've ran that algorithm it comes up with the modularity class here uh, you, you can uh, click on randomized colors uh, so that it gives you uh, visually more appealing colors. Again, keep in mind that um, I'm, I'm using this inside of a virtual machine, uh, which is really not leveraging uh, the graphics card. Uh, but in your case, um, you'll find much better visualization. So now that I've applied uh, this graph, uh, sorry, uh, the... Uh, the partition to the graph you can see that it's much more uh, visually uh, more engaging it allows me to visually start seeing uh, the communities start to form uh, and as I mentioned this uh, in this particular modularity parameters it's actually detected more than 200 plus um, groups here or communities so that's uh, too many to work with but you can tweak your parameters so that you get a much much smaller data set and of course that's very dependent on the data itself uh, so once I've applied this, the next thing what I can do is um, I can go ahead and start visualizing it and uh, putting it into a different layout. Now, uh, Gephi out of the box gives you a bunch of different layouts and you can of course add um, third party layouts as well. Uh, but I'm going to um, opt for the famous um, uh, Force Atlas 2 algorithm. Again, it's a really good uh, a layout to uh, detect communities. Now if I run that, you can slowly start seeing uh, the different uh, communities starting to form or take shape. Uh, so of course, um, um, uh, using the modularity to uh, partition was already helpful, but then you can actually start seeing uh, how these uh, communities start to uh, take shape. So let me uh, stop the algorithm. 
and uh, now that we have some layouts uh, of course uh, uh, we want to visualize it and maybe uh, clean out some of the noisy ones um, uh, so for that uh, the thing I can do is uh, to use the filter here and uh, there are quite a range of filters and of course you can select multiple filters or apply one filter and take the output of that and apply other filters on top of that but uh, for this simple uh, webcast here I'm just gonna use um, so the degree range so I wanna see um, the nodes or, or the users that have the highest level of interaction amongst them uh, in a matter of speaking I'm I'm seeing how within communities people are actually interacting with each other or are there these brokers if you will uh, or key influencers that uh, pass data b from one community to the other uh, so the way I could do that is uh, just by using a degree filter to begin with uh, oh sorry I already added the degree filter and now here you can see that it gives me uh, quite a range uh, and uh, again there's quite a lot of noise here uh, so uh, to get rid of some of the noise let's say um, you know I can apply the filter and you can see visually um, you know how many um, uh, nodes um, uh, you get as a result so now if I apply that filter so of course this gives me a much smaller cleaner data set to work with uh, and then of course I can visualize it based on the labels uh, I can do further uh, layouts right now so that I get a much cleaner idea of uh, what's really happening uh, but as you can see from the initial hairball that we had uh, to now actually seeing um, uh, some of the nodes here and uh, further analyzing them uh, to give us an idea of um, key interaction so you can see here that uh, this uh, this is quite interesting uh, within this community here you can see the the interactions between this particular node uh, and uh, this given um, node here oops sorry it was uh, the other node so uh, you can already see the kind of uh, group dynamics and interactions uh, and uh, the visualization and filtering helped us immensely in arriving at this data um, so uh, this was just a one-on-one, -on -one, um, uh, one-on-one, sorry, um, video uh, level to show you what can be done with uh, Gephi. But again, Gephi is uh, so has so much more features, which hopefully will uh, cover in another video. So see you on the next video. Thanks.